Sarah Cordell, the manager of Tharrop Food Banks. Um, I should use a plural first, shouldn't I, Sarah? Because you're not just one food bank, are you? Well, we're, we're the Tharrop Food Bank, but we've got 10 centres across the borough. So we are just one food bank. We just have to have 10 different locations where people can go in and get food. OK, so so very very quickly, just a little bit about your, your journey as a food bank. I mean, did you start you, you started just with one? Was it just Corringham to start off with and then it's grown yeah, from there? Yeah, well, we started, we've been around for about five years now. Hmm. Um, and we started off originally with a warehouse. I say a warehouse, it was probably a room in a church, I think, hmm. or someone's front room. And then we had three centres originally. And slowly over the years, we built up to ten because we feel that... Um, it's good to have a spread of them across the borough, and they're all open on different days. So from Tuesday through till Saturday, we have two open every day. So we try to we try to go to the places where we think people might need us, really. And and how busy are you? Okay, so last year we fed uh, just over four thousand five hundred people, which was an increase of fifteen percent from the previous year. And I can't, I can't remember what the figures are from the year before that, but we have increased every year. So we have increased the number of people we feed every year. Does, I guess the one thing is, does that concern you? Oh, absolutely. Yes, mm. of course it does. I mean, on the one hand, we're happy that we're here, that we can help people, but we are obviously concerned that there are people out there in Thurrock that are going hungry. Mm. It's covering a large area, so the most easterly one would be Corringham in through to Tharrock. Is there any? There's any in the west of the borough as well. So we've got. So actually, Corringham is our is where our warehouse is. So we don't actually um, give out food from there. So the one, I guess, the one that's the furthest over to the east would be Linford or Tilbury over that way. And then the other way towards the west, we've got um, Perfleet uh, and Avery and South Ockenden, so they cover, and then we kind of cover in between as well. Okay. <laughs> so we're we're speaking to you this week where universal credit is going to be, as I say, rolled yeah. out. Does yeah. it does this concern you regarding universal credit? Are you prepared? For, are you prepared for a an increase or a spike in in in, in customers and clients? Yes. So uh, we're a trust trust food bank, um, and there are four hundred, just over four hundred trust trust food banks across the country. So some of them have already had. Um, an impact of universal credit in their areas. Now, the Trussell Trust have done some work on the figures that we have, the information that we have from across the country, and they found out that the, the Trussell Trust food banks that have had universal credit, full rollout universal credit, their um, their usage has gone up by 16%. Now, that's an average, I guess that's an average figure, and those are the statistics, but I've read posts on Facebook, I mean, they're all... Um, I haven't got the proof to back this up, but I've read posts on Facebook where food banks are talking about an increase of kind of 80%, which is a real concern for me. When I found this out, it was kind of like a red light and thinking, right, we've got to make sure that we've got enough food in our warehouse to help us cover this rise. So we're working very hard to make sure we've got enough food in. So we've been, at the moment, we've got a lot of um, food coming in through harvest festivals, so through churches and through schools as well. We're very lucky the people in South are very generous uh, towards us with donations. Um, and then we've got a very big collection coming up in Tesco's at the beginning of December. So um, I think we're trying our best to be prepared. Um, and I don't, from what I gather, it's not a, the way the universal credit rollout works is that it all, it's not like a big bang. They don't put everybody on it straight away. But it'll slowly, it'll slowly start, they slowly start putting people on it. So I'm guessing that we will start to see an increase within the next, you know, very slowly start to see an increase in people over the next couple of months, which is unfortunate because that's going to cover Christmas as well. Mm. So what's your message to people in Tharrock who may who may need to use you? I mean, uh, how do they get in contact in all sorts okay, of ways? So, so the way our food bank works is that we work on a voucher system, so you have to get hold of a voucher first before you can come to one of our centres. Now, the places we've got 60 voucher givers across the borough, but if you... Um, most of them are things like the, the social services at the council, some of the schools do them and that kind of thing. But if you suddenly discover you need a voucher kind of immediately, you can go to Citizens Advice in Greys, in the Beehive, um, uh, Tilbury Hub, Fur Fleet Hub and Stifford 
Plains Hub, Stately Ranches, uh, South Oppenden Centre and one community in Tilbury. So those places you can just walk in and ask to be assessed for a voucher. You need to really take some proof of address. If you've got children, some um, child benefit information is helpful. And any proof of your crisis is also very helpful. But we, we're open, we're ready to help people. Um, yeah, just go to those places to get a voucher and then they will help you and then they'll tell you where the nearest centre is to get the food. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for your time.